Welcome back. A simple blood test may soon be able to tell your doctor if you have a traumatic brain injury. It's a major medical breakthrough thanks to doctors at the University of Rochester. Emily Noonan has more. When it comes to a brain injury, currently doctors base their diagnosis off of patient-reported symptoms, like a headache or vomiting. Because we order so many CAT scans for people who have a head injury, and so many of them don't show anything. About 90% of them don't show anything. According to the lead researcher, Dr. Jeffrey Bazarian, brain proteins found in the blood can determine if they have a serious brain injury. It'll make this decision process of how we get to the CAT scan uh, more rational, more objective. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates 2.5 million ED visits a year for brain injuries. This test can reduce that by a third. So this new test would take out the guesswork, allowing you to know who would need a CT scan and who won it. Right. So with the blood test, we're looking to pick up a patient like this that has a small amount of bleeding in their brain and to hopefully tell us, because the test is negative, that we don't need to scan someone like this whose brain is entirely normal. In turn, reducing radiation exposure for concussion patients and helping them get through the emergency room faster. This test is only approved for people 18 and older, and it must be taken within 12 hours after the injury. Emily Noonan, News 8. This study was tested on 2,000 people who presented with head injury. 200 of them were in the Strong Hospital Emergency Department. Researchers at URMC say they are currently working to start a study specifically looking at adolescent age groups.